Hello everybody and welcome back to Arc One Welding, your favourite YouTube welder. Yes, how is it going? I hope everyone had a happy Christmas and all that sort of stuff and a good new year. I can tell you I did nothing my Christmas and New Year's, just relaxed in playing games to be honest. It was a nice lazy one. But yes, in this video I am making a TV cabinet for my house. It was, I made this a long time ago. I'm only just getting round to editing it now. Just, I've got no motivation recently when it comes to doing videos. It, there's a lot of work that goes into them and it just takes up all my spare time. So, so you know, sometimes I may want to play games. I may want to work on stuff. I may have private jobs, all sorts of things that I just don't have time to video in it. So I hope you can understand that. But yes, this video, I am making a tv cabinet i am just throwing it together it came out okay it came out more than okay but not my bestest work okay so this here is the progress so far i have all the pieces chopped up but a few of these it's really late right now and it is coming out with such a blunt cut so um yeah i don't want to annoy my neighbors anymore so yes this here is a tv cabinet here is going to be vertically going um, to the side of my TV and here is horizontal. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Tomorrow I will be back. So the materials I was using was 20 by 20 box section, about three mil thick. I wanted to keep it just, you know, nice and cheap. It cost about 100 pound in materials. Uh, I can't remember how many lengths I got, but yeah, about £100 in materials. Jesus Christ. Look how flimsy this is. No wonder why it was so, so cheap. £7. £7 for all of this. The reason behind making this cabinet was to save money. My labour... You know, you when you do things for yourself, your labour costs are minute. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I, I've I've worked for free to help people out before, so there's no there's nothing bad in working for free to make something for your house. So all I was invested was a hundred pound in materials plus my consumables, which it doesn't really add up that much. Versus buying a TV cabinet, you could you could go IKEA, but you're buying a generic piece of furniture it wouldn't look so nice and even even then it would it would have still been more than a hundred pound for a tv cabinet that looks decent enough um yeah so it, it definitely it definitely um, came out good So the keen-eyed viewers would have seen that I don't quite know exactly what I'm doing when it comes to this sort of stuff. Don't get me wrong, I'm not no amateur, 
But, you know, the nuances and the things and the techniques that you pick up over time doing this, I haven't got that. If it was pipe, no problem. No bother. I do pipe welding all the time. That's that's my bread and butter. But something like this, it is adapting my um, techniques to suit this, but there's still a lot to learn. I wouldn't, just because I do pipe, I would never say that being a fabricator or box section and, and, and structural kind of things, it doesn't automatically make me a professional at that as well. And um, I was having to save materials, so for this stabbing that I'm, I'm tacking together now, it, it would have been nice to have some materials left over to tack it and brace it so it doesn't move when I weld, but I didn't have that, so I was just kind of being light on the welds and I was hoping to get the other half on top of it and tack everything together first or as much as I could before welding it you know the more the more that's tacked together the more natural bracing it has before you start welding it and um, yeah it, nothing everything looked good but it wasn't square you know which you know it should have been square but my laziness kicks in but if I was doing this for someone I would have definitely taken the time to um, make sure it was perfect, but where, where it's for myself, let's, you know, rush, get it done, really. So this is the level I've got it to. By no means is this perfect. It's good enough to do the job. I'm gonna put a plank of wood across the top to hide that shape and weld. Um, glass plane coming across. That is some free advertisement right there. Oh yeah, for your company, my company on there. Yeah boys. Are you gonna help me do some welding? Yeah, but don't close up on my welds. <laughs> Let's see how your welds are. You didn't even bring like an extra mask or something. No, I didn't. You didn't, man. You can view through the phone. The next day, my little brother came round to me. He, um, he's a structural welder, so he makes balustrates and mezzanines and a lot of stuff. He, he, he's a very good um, structural welder and fabricator. So yeah, he, he came to help me and I bought a saw. I've finally bought a bandsaw so I can be making noise late at night without annoying the neighbours. Because come, come about 7pm at night, I, I got neighbours really close with children and stuff like that. I, I don't want to, you know the saying, um, the now that sticks up gets hammered down. I don't want to be that person so I try to avoid making as much noise as possible at silly times just so the neighbors don't ever have anything to complain about so having a bandsaw definitely helps out to keep the noise down for a big a, a bandsaw is really i mean a chop saw is really loud so yeah eliminating the chop saw so definitely um helps to keep the neighbors happy right now is what i'm working on the shelf if i go into properties to uh, see the information behind the shelf it is not even finished. Look at the stage that it's at now. It's at this stage now, not even finished. And it is already 118 gigs. Oh yes, I completely forgot about the wood. That adds to the price. I don't know how much this was, 20, 30 pan maybe. But call me cheap. I I was able to get all of the wood cut for this project from this one sheet. I did have to butt two bits of wood together and there is a seam. I, d I really don't care for it myself. It doesn't bother me. But I was able to chop it all in um, from one sheet. This, this is what I'm talking about. Look, what am I doing using a jigsaw? I'm sorry, guys. I do not have a... I don't have, what is it, a straight cut saw, a circular saw? I don't have any other saw, just a jigsaw. And I know it doesn't give you good cuts, but I was using the sander to, to, to make the edges look nice. I'm just 
doing. I'm dealing with what I can deal with, you know what I'm saying? For the progress. One more day is finished and it's coming along nicely. I just need to now attach all the wooden pieces, spray it and put it onto the wall and I believe that will be done. So in the last scene you saw the glass in place. I put some crappy tabs on each corner to hold the glass in. It didn't look nice. None of them was equal height so the glass was bobbing all over the place. So I, I chopped them out and I replaced them with these strips. That's such a, a, a much better idea to, um, to do it that way. So I am wrapping this video up. The big reveal is gonna be there soon. I basically drilled four holes through the, the box section to attach it to my wall. Um, nothing special, everything's dark, it's hidden. You, you don't see the screws anyway. It looks good. And um, I used obviously a laser level and all that sort of stuff to attach it to the wall. But yes, it is, it is finished now. Um, if you liked what you see hit the subscribe button i'm planning on making more videos like this but there's no promises um check my check my feed i normally do pipe welding videos so this here is a little bit different and um i hope you lot enjoy it anyway so thanks for watching and i will see you lot in the next one so yes it is completed this here is the final product really I was going to clear all of this sort of stuff off so you could see it in all its glory but no this is a this is my channel we do things real here before I could film the reveal all of my little boys toys got put in front of it so I can't be bothered to clear all of it out I'm just going to show you how it looks personally I think it come out nice the finish is good it's only for my house this was its intended purpose so right here I have my fish tank and yes I've got a shelf on top the fish tank here and I wanted a vertical shaft going up so I could hide all of the cables going to power the lights on top of the fish tank so here's all the lights so I wanted to hide the power cable going to it and then I also wanted a floating t TV cabinet so you can see how it's floating the wood finish I believe yeah it looks nice and the grey goes with the rest of the grey in the rest of my house including the curtains and stuff like that but yeah I believe it came out nice custom made work looking good it goes also with also goes with this shelf going across that's definitely overloaded and the whole wall I think 
looks pretty decent. So the next step obviously is sorting out more of the house but one thing at a time.